Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how we can use FFmpeg to record our screens properly. Okay. So in case if you don't know about FFmpeg, it's a really, really awesome tool. Uh, the man page says it's a video converter, but you can do so much with it. Some people say it's an absolute video editor. Even some popular video editors use FFmpeg inside. So yeah, it's a really cool program with zero haters. So without wasting any more time, let's just get started and see how we can record our screen. So first, just write ffmpeg and then minus f so f is for format and we are going to take a uh, x11 grab format first okay so x11 grab is for you know xorg and it's a module for grabbing you know your screen and then uh the input so the input will be a uh, 0, 0.0 so this means that you are recording your default monitor in case if you have multiple monitor this is not what you want to write but if you are working on a single monitor this is going to work pretty fine and after this all you have to type is the output file name so in my case it's uh, out.mkv you can give whatever the name you want to give and i'm giving the dot mkv so it's a montraska file because mkv is low in size and good for recording and it works with kdn live if you are using some proprietary garbage editor you might want to type mp4 here so but here mkv is pretty fine so let's just run this command and it's going to start recording off our screen you might don't get the correct resolution in my case i'm getting the correct resolution uh, let's just see the recording so this is another terminal let's just do ls and as you can see i have this out.mkv file and i can use mpv to just run this file all right so here i'm recording the screen and here you can see it's the you know output of recording all right so if you just want to stop the recording what you have to do is you have to press q and this is important don't press ctrl c because this can break your file all right so i was you know using ctrl c and sometimes my file gets broke and then i realized that the proper way to quit the recording is q all right so when you press q it's going to exit properly so now we got this out.mkv file and this is pretty perfect in my case but in your case you might get lag or some incorrect resolution so you might want to specify what settings you want in your recording and that's what we are going to do you might also want the audio so let's just start with the audio first okay so this was the very minimal command we just wrote and it's enough if you just want to grab your screen to just show someone some error or stuff but if you want to record your screen properly you might want more than that so let's just uh, pass another format here and this time we will pass elsa in case if you also want to record your audio you have to pass elsa and after this you need to provide some more information like minus ac for audio channel and the audio channel will be second in my case because i want to use my mic if you want to use your output you might want to type one here also i want to pass the input which is default so this means is you sometimes get multiple mic connected in your computer or multiple input channels so you just want to you know specify whatever is default in my system i just want to use that and if you just want to know more about it let's just open pulse mixer and show you so uh, this is f1 uh, which is for output so if you connect a speaker in your computer so your audio channel will be one and if i press f2 this is my audio audio channel number two for input like mic input and some other kind of input and in my case the default is this one so uh, in your case the default might be something else so you just want to set your default to the one you want to use all right so i believe this is enough for getting audio and video both at the same time and if this command work for you then i believe it's perfect all right if you get audio video both properly it's completely fine you can use this command but in a lot of cases you might get some issues you don't uh, get resolution correct or you know some other kind of issue so i will prefer using this script which i have record so what this script is basically uh, i'm using ffmpeg minus f you know usual stuff to record the screen but here i'm passing this resolution so minus s is for resolution and you can just pass it like this you can just go here and type minus s and then one you can just pass resolution like this and here we can specify some more option like minus r for fps so minus r and then uh, whatever fps you want to use uh, by default i guess this is 30 or 25 but i usually use 60 here and again the usual stuff minus i for you know the screen input 
and then the audio format then the audio channel and then the, whatever the default input is and after this we are passing this v codec so this is like a, every video format have some kind of codecs the most dominating codec these days is libx 264 and i believe that ffmpeg use this to codec by default after this you can specify output resolution and this is not the same as the input resolution input resolution is what part you want to take in as an input the output resolution is uh, what output you want to produce for that input resolution if you ever use obs uh, obs also have settings similar to this and after this we got this minus a codec so a codec is like v codec v is for video and audio codec i don't know much about audio codec but here i'm using lib mp3 lame and i don't know this is good or lame after this we got minus a b which means audio bitrate and and the most common audio bitrate is 128k it's good for your you know video size here we also got minus AR which is for audio frequency. If you know what this is, you can just type any number and if you don't know, just use what I'm showing you. And after this, we have minus threads. So you can specify threads and in the last, you can also define what format you want your output in. So here, this is MP4, but as I told you, MKV save size and this is just the output file name. So you can replace this by date and time combination. All right. And I believe that's it. That's all you need and after this you don't have to use Kazam, OBS or any other GUI program for your video recording. So I will provide you the link of this uh, script in the description. Let me just show you how I use this script. So record xyz.mp4 and after this it's going to start recording. I can do whatever I want, whatever I want and you know uh, when I press Q it's going to just stop the recording and here I got xyz.mp4. <laughs> I wanna be the object of your affection Give me all your time, touch, money and attention Pick me up after school, you can be my baby Maybe we could go somewhere, I'll get a little crazy He's rich and I'm wishing on He could be my mister, I'm delicious to the maximum Chewing up like bubblegum on this pretty party flavor He's his own favorite flavor Six forty five, just around.